Patrick O'Kane getting involved and now off to Owen Darcy. Here's an opportunity trying to curl it in with that wind and Owen Darcy opens Wicklow's account. Well taken points and the home team lead. Perhaps a chance here for Carlo to get a shot away. This is Niall Hickey but that hasn't gone to plan. It'll stay in play though. Oh, that's well taken as well by Carlo. Attack still alive and it comes out now to the danger man. Dara Foley looking for Carlo's first point from play and he's got it in the 18th minute. Carlo lead by three points to two. Johnny Fury's kick out high to the middle of the field. Well taken by Jordan Morrissey. Good start here from Carlo. Niall Hickey has support from Mikey Bambrick here and space for Bambrick as well it's opening up for the full back can he finish well that's a great save from Mark Jackson Bambrick looking for the goal Connor Crowley first time ball forward good football from Carlo this is Ross Dunphy looking to curl it in with that left boot that's a lovely point from Carlo simple football Having to work it short this time, Wicklow. Carlo with a lot of bodies back in their defensive position. Here comes Owen Darcy on the loop, kicked the opening point of the game, and this one looks good as well. Owen Darcy <laughs> leaving it at a one point game, six points to five in favour of Carlo. Paul McLaughlin forward to Porigo Toon, and it's opening up here for Wicklow. Might a goal be on here? It's inside to McLaughlin again. And that's a wonderful save from Johnny Fury. Stuck out that right leg and it goes behind. So can Mark Jackson send us in level at the break? This one is good. Fine conversion. Connor Doyle. And now Ross Dunphy has had a good game so far. Ross Dunphy cutting inside and it's opening up. And in the end, it's a point for Carlo. Just over the crossbar. Owen Murta on a surge forward. Now Dean Healy, the big midfielder for Wicklow. Getting it back outside to Murta, who stays involved. Now it's with Connor Fee, who started brilliantly in this second half, and that's a really well taken score. Lovely kick from Connor Fee, his third point of the afternoon. Much better from Wicklow in this second half. Here's Connor Fee, nice ball inside gathered by Owen Darcy. Fee is there again, now looking to get another shot away, and he does. Connor Fee, that one's palmed away, but claims that it's gone over the crossbar, and the umpires are looking at this one, and I think uh, the white flag is going to be raised here. The referee, Seamus Mulher, goes in to talk to his umpires, and I think the point is going to be given, and it is. It's another point for Connor Fee and Wicklow. Johnny Fury, long to the middle of the field once again. Well, this break has spilled nicely for Wicklow. And Patrick O'Keen now on a surge forward. Dean Healy inside to O'Keen once again. It's opening up for the goal here for Wicklow, and they have it. It's Owen Darcy, palming it to the net. Brilliant move. And Wicklow lead by five points in the 58th minute. Carlos still believe they can get a result here as we head into five minutes of added time at the end of this match. They trail by two points as Ross Dunphy spreads it out to Shane Clark and Clark's effort is on the money. And it's a one-point game. Back outside, tense moments in Ockram. Can Carlo find the leveller? Two minutes left to play. Inside it goes and back for the return is Aaron Ammond, and Ammond puts it over. Carlo's fifth on the bounce, and it's all square. Can Carlo go and win it now? Surely this is the last play. Attacking down that far side in space now for Jonah Dunn. This would win it for Carlo, and they've done it. Jonah Dunn with the points, right on the stroke of full time. And Carlo complete a remarkable comeback. They've beaten Wicklow here in this first round game. It's finished.